When you're riding a circle, whether you're walk, trot, lope, anything that direction, your body has to be riding that direction. And what happens in a lot of cases, the rider will get off center like that, and their upper body is saying go there, but their lower body is saying go there. See how he kind of started drifting out and, and, and even got overbent because of it. A lot of people have trouble with saddle fit, and we're going to talk today about saddle fit that's not really the saddle not fitting. A lot of times people get off and they'll see wet spot or dry spots up here, which on a western saddle you don't want to see. And you want to try to get those dry spots worked out. And many people try several saddles and still end up with dry spots. And in, in some cases, that issue is really not the saddle. That issue is how the rider is riding. Doesn't mean that the saddle still couldn't be not fitting, but the rider has to get themselves fixed before they can fix the saddle issue. What a lot of people do, especially really either very right-hand dominant people or very left-hand dominant people, if you're very right-hand dominant and right-leg dominant, what a lot of people do is they'll ride off to their left, put a lot of weight in their left stirrup, and hold on with their right leg. And what that does, that causes a pinch point right here, gets the saddle off center, and that opens up this side of the saddle. So when you get off, what you will have is a, a small dry spot here where that saddle is pinching them, and you'll have a bigger dry spot here because the whole saddle is being pulled off to the side. A lot of riders are constantly adjusting their saddle and bringing it over to the center, and that is the same thing going on and they just don't realize what's happening. A lot of times they think, oh, my, my girth is loose or my, I need to try a different pad because my saddle keeps going off to the left or my saddle keeps going off to the right. When actually it's not that the saddle is going off to the side, it's that the rider's weight is pulling it off to the side and they don't realize how off center they are. A lot of riders will ride that way and that horn will stay off to the side and when I look at them from the back I can see that they're off center standing on this stirrup holding on with this stirrup and the saddle is pulled off to the right and not only does that affect the fit of the saddle and the saddle not fitting right you're not centered, so that's going to cause your horse to be more dull to one side than the other side. Often, people say horses are very left-handed or very right-handed, and I'm, I'm not saying that a horse cannot be better one side than the other. They typically are, but what happens is that rider riding off to the side and holding on with this leg and often holding on with that rain also dulls that side. I've got two horses in there right now that travel in an arc to the right, and that's exactly why. Riders riding, holding on with their right hand, just like this, and holding on with the right leg. And the horse is dull to the right rein. When you go to steer to the right, you have to really pull hard because the horse has been kind of compensating against that leaning and against that crookedness to travel straight. So the horse doesn't want to travel straight. He'll go in a straight line, but he doesn't go in a straight line with his spine straight. And that affects everything. That, that affects the saddle, how the saddle fits on the horse. That'll cause the horse to be sore. That'll cause the horse to not steer good. That'll cause the rider to be sore on one side of their body. You, you ride that way long enough, a lot of times your lower back will hurt or your hips are hurt, and sometimes by your, up by your shoulders are hurt. And that's why, because you're traveling so much crooked 
and putting asymmetrical strain on your body that it's making your back and your hips hurt. So if you're having that issue, see if your legs are off-centered. If you're holding on with one leg and is your saddle constantly off to one side. All those issues are all connected by, right, by sitting off to the side and holding on with one leg and standing on the other leg. The, the cows are coming in. He's watching the cows come in the alley. They'll come in that gate in just a minute. And if you are riding that way, if that is an issue with you, that is going to hinder everything going forward. That is going to hinder that is going to hinder your bend counter bend. That's going to hinder everything with the horse. All you're guiding the horse because you're off center, you're not symmetrical. You can't expect the horse to be symmetrical. Often you'll see that when you walk in a circle. If you're doing your bend counter bend exercise and you notice that one direction you constantly have to pull your saddle over, that is a good indication that you're putting more weight on one foot than the other. I put my leg out, he thought I meant stop. That is a good indication that you're putting a lot of weight in one stirrup. If when you're circling right, your circle's going off to the right, that means you're putting too much weight in your left stirrup. You can come through. And the same thing, or that was circling left. If you're circling right, and your saddle is going off to the left, to the outside, you're putting too much weight in the left stirrup. What's happening there is the horse is going whatever direction, but he almost has to drag you behind you're asking the horse to circle right, but you're standing on your left foot, you're holding on with your right leg. So often that actually causes a tr good trained horse to start drifting to the outside. So a lot of times if your horse is wanting to leave the circle and drifting to the outside, you're actually telling him to and you don't realize. When you're riding a circle, you can come through, we'll stop a second for you to come through. When you're riding a circle, whether you're walk, trot, lope, anything that direction, your body has to be riding that direction. And what happens in a lot of cases, the rider will get off center like that, and their upper body is saying go there, but the lower body is saying go there. See how he kind of started drifting out and, and, and even got overbent because of it. What you do to correct that problem, get centered, standing up in your stirrups will help. I'm not gonna do it with him, he's not used to that. Standing up in your stirrups, sit back down will help. Also, think about the weight you have in your feet. Equal weight on both feet. Be aware when you're going a direction that your whole body is going a di that direction. Now I'm going to ask him to spin to the left and I'm going to ask him to spin to the left with a little bit of speed. He's not going to be able to spin with speed if I'm out here and he's dragging me behind and I'm off center. In order to get a good spin that way, I need to be riding him that way. Not just not in his way but actually getting my body riding that way so that I'm actually helping him go that way. I always want to look where you're going, but you also have to look and ride where you're going. A lot of people will look, but their hand is still over here. They're not riding that way. So now I'm going to pick up my hand, open my leg, rein, smooch, and then I'll kick if I want more speed. So we rode that spin to the left, and I rode that spin to the left. You can't get any direction, whether it's a spin, it's a stop, 
just loping a straight line, you have to be centered. And that all is going to start with you getting equal weight in your stirrups and paying attention. Do you have an uneven sweat mark or an uneven dry mark down that horse's back? Kind of my, my mission for my training program is to try to make every horse as good as they can be. Some horses will end up better than others. That's part of it. What I have learned in training those higher level horses, that's the training program that I put together for the rest of these horses. If you want to talk to me about sending a horse to me for training, whatever breed it is, send me a message and we'll talk about it. So this is Nick. I'll put a link up here to his uh, playlist on YouTube. Until next time, thank you for watching.